LeFou being gay in Disney's latest live-action remake has gotten people all out of sorts in a story about a girl who in the end wants to bone a water buffalo. But that isn't stopping Disney from taking many more of their classical masterpieces and making them new again for some extra profit. Let's take a trip down this rabbit hole and discover exactly what Disney's working on. The first film I want to talk about is the first one of Disney's with a confirmed release date and it's none other than Mulan. It will be directed by Nikki Carroll and is set to release November 2nd of 2018. Now, beware viewers, this film is about a girl who dresses as a man. I know, it's preposterous. A woman is a woman and a man is a man. There are no two ways about this. So I'm sure this film will see itself banned. In actual news, this film will be an opportunity for young Asian girls to see themselves on the silver screen, though sadly it will not have any music. John Favreau is returning to the world of animals with not one, but two films. Following the success of The Jungle Book, Mowgli and Baloo shall return to the jungles of Shao Kahn for Jungle Book 2. Hopefully it's not as bad as the follow-up to the original cartoon. But Fear not, Favreau will also be directing another Disney World. Boys, the circle of life is coming around once more as Simba, Scar, and even Mustafa return to life once more, and then Mustafa will die again. It's said that the same animation scene in the Jungle Book will be used to bring these classical Hamlet reenactors back to life. Neil Seth is expected to return as the older Mowgli in Jungle Book 2. Donald Glover and James Earl Jones are expected to appear in The Lion King. Also, rumored Queen Bee will be doing some voice work. What? <laughs> Prince Ali, glorious he, coming to our screens. Yes, Aladdin will be riding in once more to take Jasmine on a magic carpet ride. <laughs> this follows suit of the Broadway play Aladdin being quite a hit, and it makes sense following other Disney's remakes. What's surprising is Guy Ritchie is directing the film. You know, the guy who directed the Sherlock movies with Robert Downey Jr., Blackstock and Two Smoking Barrels, Snatch. 86 carats. Where? London. London? London. London? Yes, London. You know, fish, chips, cup of tea, bad food, worse weather, Mary fucking Poppins, London. Of course, what will be interesting to see is how Robin Williams' ad lib script will actually be handled for this film. At least we know this one will have those show-stopping numbers we grew to love. Mr. Alonzo, what will your pleasure be? Let me take your order, jot it down. You ain't never had a friend like me. <laughs> I know, you thought that was the transition out, but it was in fact the transition into this follow-up story. Genies has also been announced, a prequel to Aladdin that follows Genie, probably several of them based on the name, and it explains how he became trapped in the lamp. Disney initially wanted to use outtakes from Robin Williams' original performance, but his estate has locked them down for another 25 years. No director has been announced, and of course, no release date or any cast. But let's stay in prequels and take a look at another live-action film, Cruella. Oh yes, everyone's favorite dog, Skinner. This film will take a look at how Cruella became, well, Cruella de Vil, and it will have Emma Stone in the title role. And then there's Maleficent 2. The whole reason Disney is taking these villainous characters and reimagining them is because of the success of Maleficent. And let's be honest, I mean, knowing what makes the villains tick is always far more interesting than a villain being a villain or just plain evil. Only Donald Trump's just plain evil. Maleficent 2 will star Angelina Jolie in the title role with Linda Wolverton writing the script once more. But wait, there's one more villain remake and this one is the most surprising. Chernabog, you know, the demon on the top of Bald Mountain. 
you know, from Fantasia. While little is known about the film, we do know that Matt Sazama and Burke Sharpless will write and executive produce the film. Let's get a little wet. The remake of Disney's Little Mermaid was announced last year, but it isn't moving very quickly. Matter of fact, it seems to be swimming backwards. Two directors have left the project, as well as Chloe Grace Moritz, who was cast as the lead role. It really kind of seems like no one wants to be a part of the Little Mermaid's world. Darling, it's bitter down where it's wetter. Take it from me. But, you know, maybe that's because people want to take to the sky and explore a world where they can never grow up. Have you caught on yet? Peter Pan is making another film debut because we just aren't tired of these yet. This one will be written and directed by David Lowry, the man behind 2016's Peach Dragon. This film, unlike the plane wreck that was Pan, will be a more direct adaptation of J.M. Barrie's classic stories. Please remain seated as the aircraft remains in the air. Disney has also announced they will be cashing in on the incredible popularity of Tinkerbell, casting Reef Withers Witherspoon as Tink in an upcoming live-action film. The script is still being written. <laughs> King Arthur has been popping up on the big screen for ages, but none have stuck with audiences like the telling of his tale in The Sword and the Stone. So, it's no surprise that this film has also made the list of upcoming live-action Disney remakes. And of course, Disney wants someone who understands the time period of this film. So they have brought on none other than Brian Cogman, a writer and producer of HBO's Game of Thrones. Oh god, you don't think that will influence any scenes with Madame Mim, do you? Because I'm the magnificent, marvelous Mad Madame Mim. Another film that will be swinging to our box offices is a reboot of Pinocchio. It's still in its early stage with Guillermo del Toro working on the script, who said in an interview with Collider he would be working with Patrick McHale on the script for the stop animation piece. Let's head back to live actions and take a shortcut here through Hundred Acre Woods where Winnie the Pooh and friends will see a visit from a grown-up Christopher Robin. To be entirely honest, that's about all we know. See, I said it would be a shortcut. From bears in a book to elephants in a zoo, Disney says Tim Burton will be the one directing the live-action Dumbo. Now, I will say Burton, in my opinion, is the perfect guy to make us care about someone who is different. The script is rumored to expand on the original story, including a human family. It's rumored that Eva Green, Danny DeVito and Will Smith will be in this live-action Dumbo film. And I can understand Dumbo and even Pooh Bear as live actions, but there's one coming up that makes me nervous. Chip and Dale. Oh yeah. Disney didn't learn from the mistakes of Elvin and the Chipmunks and thinks this will be a great idea. The director is set to be Robert Ruggin. Please, please Disney. Do not ruin my childhood with this one. So let's talk players. Oh yeah. Disney has one in particular. Prince Charming. The man who wins the hearts of both Cinderella and Snow White. And he sings in a riverbed with his brother Prince Charming. Agony that can cut like a knife. I must have her. Now Charming will be charming all of us on the big screen with his new movie, Prince Charming. The team behind the controversial Beauty and the Beast is also behind this one. Wait, will Charming have a husband too? While Snow White's lover will be getting his own movie, so will her sister, Rose Red. Oh yeah. Snow White has a sister. 
From what we understand, Rose will even help the Seven Dwarves awaken Snow White from her poison apple sleep. Who will be in it? Well, so long as it's not Kristen Stewart, who cares? I know. I know what you're all probably thinking right now. So, Snow White's eye candy and her sister no one even knows get movies? What? What about the woman who plays house with seven men? Well, worry not. Remember how I mentioned Rose Red will help the seven dwarves with Snow White and her sleeping because of a poison apple? Well, apparently, Snow White and her sister's films will work in conjunction. You know, like the Marvel Universe movies. So yes, Disney's first princess is getting a live action reboot that will follow the traditional Disney story and not suck. It will feature brand new songs being written by La La Land composer and lyricist Benj Pasek and Justin Paul. The story is written by the girl on the train writer, Erin Krasidja Wilson. Who knows? Maybe it'll be called Girl in the Glass Coffin. Join us every day for a new Tiny Ram and every Saturday for a new episode of Ram TV. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, hit the little bell, and of course, leave your comments below. Let us know what you're thinking about these new Disney movies and let us know what else you want to hear about.